Hi guys, this is Mike and today we're going to take a quick look at uh, an interesting MP3, MP4 player actually. It's the Samsung Gogear Muse. So you have the box here. This is the player we're going to check today. And it's right here we have the white version. I'm not sure if it comes in another color option as well. But the one we have here comes in silver and white. Actually looks quite interesting. It's a fairly nice uh, MP4 player. It's a little bit bulky. I think it's bulkier than uh, than the Zune and a little bit smaller than the iPod the Touch. It also has a little bit uh, smaller screen. And it's a 3.2 inch. Let me double check. Should say in here. Uh, it actually doesn't. But uh, from what I know, it's a 3.2 inch uh, display. LCD display multi-touch with uh, 320 by uh, 480 pixel resolution so pretty decent here uh, device overall is not very heavy and it's very sturdy build it's made from plastic this one is made this area around it is made and this one is made as well and front has a nice aluminum finish with this button although I feel this is a lot of wasted space in here they could have made it smaller now let's go ahead and have a quick look around the around the device um, this is it right here you have a home button on the front the screen and the Philips logo on the side you have here a mini HDMI slot a mic and a 3.5mm uh, headphone jack on this other side you have the lock screen and the on and off button these are volume uh, buttons get volume up and down and in here it has speakers so this one comes with speakers on the other side you also you don't have anything and on this other side what you have is a reset button and in here there's also a micro SD card slot the device comes with 8 gigabyte of memory by default but you can also add up to 32 gigabyte uh, as the micro SD card as well if I'm not mistaken you also have in the pack a pair of speakers they're supposed to be quite good um, they offer sound isolation and you have um, a couple of different uh, knobs like this so you can make this this uh, air headphones go perfectly in your ear they're actually quite good and they also have quite decent bass as well this one is called uh, turbo bass air vents so they should offer pretty good bass uh, and low sound frequencies for this kind of speaker still don't expect that much they're after all uh, speakers offered together with the player so if you want uh, something better some better headphones you will have to pay extra now uh, let's go ahead and have a quick look at the main functions of this of this player yeah turn it on like this and this is the lock screen swipe like this and it will unlock and this is your main main screen and you have just a couple of basic functions not that many you have a radio you can read some text you uh, some text files you have a file manager a sound recorder and also the multimedia aspect this is the radio in here you need to connect the, the headphones for it to work and you have here auto tune and it will go quite well these are the, the radios I found however I don't find quality that good it's, uh, it was a little bit better on other on other uh, devices definitely on phones for instance on my Nokia phone uh, I managed to get uh, a more clear sound uh, when listening to radio this one comes with a couple of uh, I don't know artifacts when listening uh, you also have here the file manager and you can see that these are all the files uh, these are all the files uh, you get on the device you have pictures and it sh should work okay it works and you can navigate and find one of the pictures this is one of the pictures on the device and you can scroll between them it takes a little bit longer to scroll because these are actually quite big uh, 12 megapixel pictures but you can see they actually look quite nice and colors are okay however viewing angles they're not that good they're decent but 
not uh, not amazing. Uh, especially for me, I'm used to an, uh, the AMOLED display on my Zune, and this is uh, not what I get on there. Operating system, it's a little bit lucky, as you can see, but still, it's okay for a device like this. Uh, have the sound recorder, quite simple. Going to press this, and now it's going to record sound. It has the microphone in here, and okay, save recording, yes, and let's play it. Okay, not sure what happened here. So you saw, in order to get proper recording, you're going to have to uh, get the device closer to your mouth. Right now, it's like half a meter away from my mouth, and the sound uh, recorder uh, wasn't working that that good. And also, there's the important multimedia aspect. You can access it by pressing this particular icon like this and it's going to go from your home page to this to these three areas you have music you have pictures and you have uh, you should have multimedia as well so press like this and this is for instance a clip we're trying to play 720p M uh, WMV clip and it's actually playable there's a little bit of lag you can see here there is some lag, but it's playable. Still, this one will handle quite okay any type of standard definition content. It only works with MP4 files and WMV. It also supports the VIX files. It's not working with MKVs. It does work with MOVs as well. And uh, this is an MP4 file. Let's go ahead and try and play it. You can see that there is some lag and the screen is not as responsive as you would expect. And here it is, the clip. You're going to see the log. And like I said, this one also has speakers. And they should work. But not for the moment. So definitely looks like the 720p uh, MOV file, MP4 file actually. Uh, put this one to its knee because it's it's uh, broken right now it's not going to work luckily there was a reset button they probably knew why they had the reset button on so we're going to reset this one and give it another try okay we're back and let's give it another try but let's adjust sound turn it all the way up and going to actually hear the the speakers on top so this is the clip here They're not loud, but if you if you need such uh, such accessories or a player with uh, external speakers, they're okay. Still, definitely, it's better to use the, the headphones. And you can see this is a MP4 file. And it's actually quite playable. There are a couple of skipped frames sometimes. A little bit of lag, but it's overall okay. Let's go ahead and try an SD clip, standard definition clip. Should have it here. And I believe this one is. It's quite nice. It plays fairly well. Okay. You can also adjust screen brightness from here. Quite useful feature. And you have surround for movies, I'm sure you what this one does. Looks like uh, it, uh, it does something, not really sure. Okay, also have a couple of different uh, carousel uh, types for, for watching content. And let's go ahead and try some of the pictures. They're here, but I already showed you, I already showed you this takes a little bit of time for them to load actually but it will be able to play pictures quite nice also have zooming and this one 
Oh, it's a rotate button. Useful, I think. You have a slideshow and you can customize a picture and use it as lock screen. Okay, so those were the pictures using the home button to get back. And now let's try a couple of songs from the ones we have here. Uh, it says unsupported file. Theoretically, you should copy content quite easily on this one. You just have to insert this one, connect it to a computer, and it should work. But uh, some of them seem not to be working. For instance, uh, I've tried that one, that clip. I've copied a couple of MP3s. Okay, play this one. Once again, it says unsupported file type, but it's working. And you can see that right now, using the external speaker and sound quality and volume is actually quite okay. And you have this particular... You can create a playlist, delete playlist. And... Uh, Sure, I'll go back. Okay, and here we have shuffle, and we should also have. Okay, here. There was an option that would activate smart sound. I believe you connect the headphones. Okay, we have the headphones right now on, and it says here that we have the headphones on, and you have full sound, and you also have sound personalization. You can use this particular apps for this not really something that I'm going to use but there is some effect to this okay uh, this is pretty much uh, all let's go ahead and turn stop this okay so those are pretty much all the things I wanted to show you about this battery life is actually quite good uh, many hours uh, for audio, 10-15 hours and uh, like 5-6 to six hours for uh, video, for standard definition video which is actually quite good and prices are actually very nice as well this one can't, won't, uh, won't rival with uh, devices like the iPod Touch or the Zune uh, I can't say there are some close competitors for it because it's a cheap mp4 player it has a decent screen it doesn't have a lot of functions but the ones available are actually quite uh, quite okay the screen is okay but it's not uh, it's not excellent it uh, seems a little bit fuzzy especially if you're going to hold it close to your eyes and that's probably because of the uh, plastic cover on top it seems there is a little bit of space between the actual screen and the plastic cover and this one creates the, the fuzziness uh, impression okay but uh, if you want something cheap you should go on, or you should uh, consider this one I'm not sure if it's available in the States I believe it's only available in Europe in my country it goes for uh, around uh, 100 euros so I believe it will be a little bit cheaper uh, on the other uh, on other countries so let, let's say around 100 euros which is definitely cheaper than the iPod touch or the more premium mp4 players available on the market right now okay that was all for now that was mike with the philips gogier uh, muse mp4 player thanks for watching